Hey folks, we're on site with a recent Rogue Home Cinema project. Let's come in and have a look. This room, absolutely one of my favorites from last year. We're out here today actually doing a few software updates, leveraging the performance even greater than the first date brought it. It's one of our favorites. It's a, the Enterprise Cinema Concept, a cinema room that has a certain style and look that we've found equates to ideal acoustic elements, fitting in the speaker and sound. It's just a formula that's worked really well for us. We noticed a pattern emerging, and that is what beca has become the Enterprise Cinema. I'm gonna go through some of my favorite parts of this room for you. First of all, it is based around really two primary viewers in this room. We've got one row of four, so there's room for guests, but we've really focused the seating on a sweet spot. It's usually him and her in here most days of the week with a few visitors from time to time. Another cool part about this room is the space behind, the curtain behind, actually hides the alfresco sliding door. So should they choose to entertain, they can open up, let the footy stream through, or even better, grab those bar stools, create a grandstand style seating row behind this seating, and you can get heaps more capacity in for the few times that you're actually entertaining. Personally, uh, I, I always like to focus the cinema around those primary seats, the seats that are used day in, day out, or week by week. They're the ones you want to focus on. It's a little bit like a two-door sports car, right? Focuses around those seats. So we got the seats in a great spot acoustically, away from the walls, real centered, and allows us to then be completely immersed by this mega CinemaScope projection screen. This is in a 2.37 to one ratio, which is very different to your 1.79. Means that when this screen is playing the mega wide cinema movies, there's no black bars. Instead of having black bars, it actually expands and goes greater and wider and bigger, fully immersive, just like as if you are sitting in a real commercial cinema. And that's the point, right? So because of the size of the screen, it really squeezes out the opportunity to put the left and right speakers anywhere but behind the screen. And that's fine because they're either side of the most important speaker of the room, the center channel, and that is ideally positioned exactly where the voice is coming from. So we've got the video on screen, the person on screen, and we've got the center speaker completely uh, associated with the video and that really takes you further into that mystery or not the mystery the illusion of believing what you're seeing is actually for real now to get this done right we need a screen that is uh, able to let the sound through while having great picture so they're not cheap it is not a cheap concept this one but it's absolutely the best concept now the seating distance in here is only around three meters away which means that an acoustic vinyl screen with perforations is not really gonna work. We're gonna see the little holes. So we've got an even closer knit woven screen, super high res, it is 4K rated, and it means that even really, really close, even where I am now, I cannot see the weave or the holes, any holes. What we do get though is a beautiful high res picture and enough acoustic transparency to allow the speakers straight through the screen and to the listeners. Where the equipment goes is a big deal. There's a lot of equipment running this room, so we've got it all stashed down and below. We've got Anthem dedicated cinema processor, their big MCA series 400 watt power amplifier for the big front speakers. And then we've got the smaller eight channel Anthem power amplifier running all the effects channels. The effects channels aren't as hungry for power, as what the fronts are, so we're distributing and choosing the right amplification for the job. It takes the money further, and it absolutely is sending the power where we need it. We've also got off-board amplifiers, all the electronics inside the rack here, also driving the subwoofers. We've got two subwoofers in here, the Triad Silver and Gold. It's a 12-inch and a 15-inch sub, each with 700 watts. There's plenty of power, it's super clean, and it's really, really comfortable because great amount of power shapes a natural, smooth sound. It's actually when we don't have enough power where the system gets edgy and uncomfortable.
So lighting is really important in a cinema. You don't want light on the screen when the image is on. You do want some gentle light over the seating. And you want that nice illusion and excitement like you're going out to the boobies the moment you walk through the door. So colored feature lighting also adds a lot of fun and flair to the system as well. Now the entire room needs to be controlled and it's fair to say that our clients in this room do not understand half the stuff I just said as far as technical engineering, amplification and all that business. So what's important is an easy to use remote control system that allows the control of the system, the electronics and the lighting with a breeze. I'm going to give this a shot now. We go into intermission mode and there's some welcome modes. There's a lot of fun we can actually have with the room. So why not? Another big hero of this room is the projector. This is a Barco Bragi, one of the most awarded projectors of recent years. If you've not heard of Barco, well, you've probably seen them before. They do supply almost 60% of the commercial cinemas around the world. Now this is big, it is beautiful, and it is absolutely stunning with picture quality. Major software, and firmware upgrades are available for these units that allow these units to improve and develop over time. They're more of a platform and check out the size of that lens. We're talking precision optics here. Those that buy a nice camera know that the camera does part of the work and it's the lens that does the rest. The Barco projection systems allowing or guaranteeing the optimal clarity on the screen and back to the listener. These things are freaking awesome. Hope you enjoyed the room tour. For more, remember to check out our website, roguehomecinema.com.au, our YouTube, our Instagram, and Facebook for more behind the scenes inspiration and sharing. Remember, on any day with a great cinema at home, reality can go rogue.